the reasons that I love small business so much is that personal touch. Adding that little bit of character, that bit of personality, a bit of that person behind the brand. With small businesses, we feel a bit more connected because there's a little bit more personality going on. With big companies, we don't really get to know the people behind it because there's a lot of people behind it and it's not about them. It's about that overall big brand. Whereas with a small Whereas business, it's a lot more about the creator behind it. And quite often too, they put a lot of themselves into their business and their branding because either they do it themselves or they've only got a small team and you can really sense some of their personality. In so it. in today's video, I want to talk about how you can add more personality to your branding to make it more unique and also so that your audience can feel more connected to you. By weaving in some of your personality and personal touches, it's going to make your branding more unique and it's also going to help people feel more connected to you because they're seeing that little bit of your personality and you know your personal style. And then you're also attracting the kind of people that are like-minded and so you're going to create a really beautiful business by doing that. It also makes your branding more memorable and personable so people feel like they can connect with you more easy and they're going to remember your branding more easily because there's something about it that's a little bit different and unique and it maybe will help them connect you as a person to that brand and so it's going to be a lot easier for them to remember it and for it to stick in their mind. So here's five ideas of how you can add personal touch to your branding. Number one is adding patterns to your branding. So creating some cute pattern designs can add a lot of fun and personality because patterns feel playful. There's an energy to patterns, you know, there's a lot of movement going on and repetition and so they feel playful and fun and full of movement and you can get very creative with patterns too and so you can really put in a lot of your personality into it. You can start thinking about maybe little illustrations of different things that really represent you and your brand or you know even you know typography or you know shapes and graphics different things that really tie back to what your brand's all about and you personally as well and you can create really fun patterns. And it doesn't have to be complicated either it can be you know just the simplest of things like you know dots or stripes or whatever but you're sort of adding your own twist and personality into that. Then you can use them in your promotions and graphics instead of maybe you think Things like photography or an individual graphic you can throw in a pattern instead and it really is going to add a lot more energy to that graphic. You can also throw it into your website as well and just add that little bit of delight and interest you know rather than just a plain background or a photo adding in a pattern is going to add that little bit of fun and energy and then if you sell physical products you could also use those patterns on your packaging too it could be you know inside the envelope or you know getting it printed on washi tape or having it on the back of a thank you card or business card there's all sorts of fun ways that you could use those patterns. Number two is adding illustration. A lot of the time businesses rely on photography when it comes to imagery for their branding but another great way to create graphical images is with illustration and this can show a lot of personality by either illustrating it yourself or finding an illustrator that can really capture your kind of style and personality into the drawings it can really show a lot of personality and character anything from soft and delicate to edgy and fun there is so much potential with illustration and you can even make the simplest of little illustrations show some personality and it's even just adding those little hand elements things that you've drawn yourself like it could be you know just a underlined scribble or or an arrow pointing to something or a little heart or circle around something something that sort of shows that it's coming from a human being it's not all just digital number three is scanning in things so this can be scanning in you know old postcards papers scraps fabrics old film photographs anything that you've got lying around particularly things that you know are very personal to you that you've collected over time because they mean something to you or anything that has lots of good texture so you can throw in some texture. All those sort of things add a bit more richness to your graphics because it's not all that flat computer generated graphic. But you can add in some more real world texture to your design. Think about everyday things that you have lying around that maybe say something a little bit about you too. Just think about everyday things that you might have lying around that can add that sort of more personal feel. Even things like paper clips or sticky tape, leaves, buttons, pressed flowers. Start looking around your office and your home. What have you got that's flat and scannable 
that you could then throw into your graphics to make it feel a little bit more personal and fun and adding a bit of more texture to it. These are great for all sorts of different things depending on what you're using. They can be used as little overlays or if you're using simple things like sticky tape or pins you can put them in the corner of an image or if you're just scanning just a texture you can use it as a background. There's so many different ways you could use these things and even if you don't know right away what you might use them for just scanning a heap of things and keeping it in a folder it's always really handy to use as a resource for yourself so that you can then throw it into different things you're making. And number four, while we're on the topic of textures, textures all the more. So not just the scan stuff, but also textures that you can take photos of. So of course, when it comes to textures, you could go on places like Creative Market and download textures other people have made, find things that you feel are relevant to your own personality and style or you could even try and create your own. It could be taking photos of things like marble or concrete or a wall or some paper or some fabric or a rug or anything that has fun texture to it that you could use. And finally, number five is hand lettering. So yes, there's a lot of beautiful fonts and so many to choose from out there, but adding a bit of your own handwriting can really add some fun personality. Now, of course, you probably don't want to go over the top with this, but it can be fun to just occasionally throw in a little bit of your own handwriting. So this could be things like on a call to action button, you're just having a little arrow and a scribble of your own writing pointing at saying it. something like click here or see you in there. You know, Think about your own language too and how you might say things and how you're showing through your own handwriting, you saying something, making little comments. Throwing your own handwriting in every now and then and just scanning in and putting it on a graphic can add so much of your own personality into the design. Even more so if you're mailing things out, even if you're just handwriting a note every time and putting someone's name on it, that's going to feel so personal. And it's all about creating that connection. All of this is so that people feel more connected to you as a person because you're putting more personality and realness and your own character into what you're doing. So get creative and start putting your own personality into your brand. And if you'd like to learn more about branding and graphic design and creativity, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.